In this video, you learn about datasets, a simple way to combine data from multiple data sources into a format that you can easily share across your application. A dataset is also called a pro dataset, a term used in much of the documentation. Pro dataset stands for progress dataset. The three terms all mean the same thing. Let's discuss why you want to use a dataset and the problems that datasets solve, given this scenario. You have data in many tables and possibly in different databases or data sources that aren't even databases, and you want to look at a specific set of data, manipulate it, and pass it around within your application. You want the change data updated back in the original source. For example, Suppose you have an online sporting goods store that sells items from different specialty vendors, such as ski apparel and surfing equipment. You want to combine subsets of data from these vendors into a single store view and promote certain items depending on the upcoming season. On your website, you may want to show some promotion items in a sidebar. The problem is that your data is everywhere and there's a lot of it but you only need to look at a subset. Using datasets can help solve that problem. Datasets are the fastest and most efficient way to work with logically grouped data in your application. There are many benefits to using a dataset. With datasets, you can define complex business objects with many levels of related data, specify the relationships among that data, associate each level with a distinct source, manipulate the data and automatically track changes to it, save changes back in the original source, pass the dataset as a single parameter between procedures and classes and between client and server, and easily manage complex transactions. A dataset consists of several components, namely temp tables, the relationships between those temp tables, and the original data sources. You can also define event handlers for datasets, which are triggered when certain conditions occur. A typical use case for datasets is for passing data from an application server session, where the database or other data sources are located, to a client session, where there is a user interface or other code that uses and possibly updates the data. Another use case is strictly server-side, where a dataset is used to encapsulate data definitions, data access, and update logic. Datasets can also be built from a set of complex calculated data, such as a price sheet, which is expensive to derive from the original sources, but is needed for frequent reference after it's loaded. A dataset can be used as a mechanism to pass different unrelated tables of data, such as lookup values, to the client session in order to build lookup lists for validating field values. It's easy to get started creating ABL code to define a dataset. First, define the temp tables using the define temp table statement. Then, use the define dataset statement to specify the temp tables that are part of the dataset. You use the data relation keyword to indicate that there is a relationship between the temp tables. The relation fields keyword specifies the exact fields that are related. Finally, you specify the data sources using define data source statements. You can specify a query to limit the data for a source database, or you can tie it directly to a database table. Later in your code, you call a method to attach a data source to the data set. This is all you need to set up a dataset. In the client application server scenario, the code containing the definitions, which is typically in an include file, would be located on both the client and the server. After you have your definitions, you can write more code to work with the dataset. You write different code depending on whether the work is being done on the client or the server. Initially, you have code that fills the data set from the data source. You also have other code to make changes to the data set on both the client and the server side, and then code to do some cleanup. These are the main steps for working with a data set. There are other things you can do with data sets. Handling errors and conditions is an important part of any application, and there are several built-in attributes that are available for doing this with data sets. 
You can also define event handlers that execute when a dataset is first filled or later when it's changed. You can batch data in order to transmit smaller amounts in separate server calls. This enables you to see some data immediately without waiting for an entire dataset to be returned. Batching allows you to tune for better application performance. Datasets can easily be converted to JSON or XML and vice versa. This allows you to make the data in your dataset accessible to REST-based or SOAP-based web service applications. You can learn more about these topics in the Datasets book. This completes our introduction to datasets. Besides the Datasets book, you can learn more from the comprehensive Use Pro Datasets book or take the Using Pro Datasets course available on the Progress Education Community.